Hey Seahawks and welcome back to Seahawks Central News. We've got a great show for you today with the scoop on a new TV show filming in Wilmington. We've also got some information on UNCW's new role as the county's COVID testing site and updates on local supply and blood drives. I'm Isabella Pleasant and I'm Abby Winstead. Sit down and stay tuned because Seahawks Central News starts right now. Production of Scream 5 has wrapped in Wilmington, but the film crews you may have seen downtown and out Carolina and Wrightsville Beach belong to the star's acclaimed series High Town. Shooting began in mid-October and has featured Wilmington attractions like Fort Fisher, the Riverfront, and the Pier of the Oceanic. While many locals are cashing in on the $64 a day work as extras, we spoke to two UNCW students who accidentally found their way to the center of shooting last week. So I was driving to the beach and, you know, just because as one does, I guess, and uh, I saw there were a bunch of lights there and I was like, oh, what's going on? But, you know, I was doing my little, silly little tasks. Um, so I invited Mary to come sit out with me and we were eating McDonald's and stuff and then a bunch of, like, lights came up and, yeah. Yeah, we were sitting over by the Oceanic in Wrightsville and we saw that they were using the pier as what we assumed would be like a party scene. They had people dancing and there was music and they had lights on the beach and in the water, so it was really cool looking. Yeah. But I think the coolest part was that once they turned the lights sort of to where, towards where we were sitting, we decided to kind of get out of the way and I happened to forget my flip-flops in that area and one of the production assistants had to go run and get my shoes so maybe there's a chance my shoes will be in the shot but uh, it was really cool to see what they're doing and hopefully we get to see it eventually. The murder mystery series is entering its second season and follows one woman as she grapples with drug addiction and the opioid crisis. UNCW has collaborated with the new Hanover County Health Department to serve as a host site for free COVID-19 testing. Until November 24th, the drive through testing site will be open to the general public, including the campus community. The tests are self-administered and are free of charge to all. Testing will be offered at the parking lot at the corner of Hearst Drive and Hamilton Drive, right across from the Green Track and Field Complex. The hours of operation are 12 to 4 p.m. Tuesday through Friday, and they ask that you register prior on E True North beforehand. The link to register can also be found on the UNCW website. Katrin Westner Hartz, Interim Associate Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs, wants students to remember this. We are seeing an increase in cases across the state and the country and truthfully in the world. And so one of the things that um, we're really trying to remind people of is the importance of the three W's, but the sort of new message that the state is coming out with um, next week is that anytime you're with someone that you don't live with is when you want to make sure you're wearing a face covering. But we're seeing that it, there's lots of publicity about that large gatherings um, cause uh, the spread of COVID, but what they're also finding is that it's small gatherings. So things where you might be with people who you think you know or trust, and so people might be a little bit less likely to wear their face covering, and that's why they're sort of tweaking that message again to be like anyone when you're with people you don't live with. If you need any more assistance or have any questions regarding the drive through testing site, you can email coronavirus at uncw.edu. The new testing site is not the only public service UNCW is performing this month. Rachel Osterhout is in studio to tell us about some drives going on around campus. Thanks, Abby. OSLE Community Engagement Specialists Britley Leonard and Landry Stein are hosting a school supplies drive for children who attend local schools. All supplies will be donated to the Assistance League of Greater Wilmington's Operation School Bell program. From November 2nd until November 10th, there will be a donation box located by the elevator in the Watson Education Building. The most needed items this year are disposable masks, large bottles of hand sanitizer, and earbuds. Another drive we are having here at UNCW is a blood drive. The blood drive will be happening Thursday, November 5th in the Keenan Auditorium from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. You must be a UNCW student, faculty, or staff to donate blood. Make sure to take your UNCW student ID with you. In order to register, you can check your student email and click the link that was sent to you in last week's upcoming events email. Abby? Thanks, Rachel. Well, that's all for us this week. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to UNCW Till TV on your favorite social media platforms. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.